Hello again you twos, it's been a wonderful week, it's fabulous Friday and we're geared up for a lovely weekend. I hope you've been staying safe at home and enjoying our lovely learning. So, grab your journals and your learning partner and let's begin our learning for today. Our in focus task says I have more money than Ruby. Hang on, who's saying this? Sam is. So Sam says, I have more money than Ruby. And Ruby says, I have more money than Sam. Pause the video. Tell me who is correct. Is it Sam or is it Ruby? And when we're back together, we're going to have a look at it. Okay, off you go. Okay, so tell me who is correct. Shall we have a look? Okay, so Sam here has two pounds and remember our learning from Monday and Wednesday that we group our pounds together and then our pence. So he's got two pounds. There we go. So we're going to write two pounds just there. Or we could also write it using the symbol. Okay, for pounds. Then I'm going to remember that learning we did on Monday and Wednesday where we said that we always put the largest value first. So the coin or the note with the largest value goes at the very beginning and then the next and then the next. OK, so here I've got 50, which is the largest. I'm going to count on 50, 70, 72, 74. And one more makes 75 pence. OK, so Sam has two pounds and 75 pence. What about Ruby? Ruby's got two pound coins. So there's one pound and two pounds, which makes it two pounds altogether. So I'm going to write it there as two pounds. Or if you wrote it in your journals using the symbol, of two pounds that is also fine and then I'm going to group my pens together remembering that I always have the largest value first so it says 20 40 60 70 and five more makes seven so Ruby has also got two pounds and 75 pence so does either of them have more? No, they have the same amount of money. And well done for checking your work with me. Let's move on. So here it asks you, how many different ways can you show me 50 pence? So this little rubber here costs 50 pence. OK, now this person here knows one way. He's used two 20 pence coins and a 10 pence coin. So he's going to count it up together, going 20, 40 and 10 more makes 50. So he's right. He's got 50 pence. This young lady here knows another way and she's used 10 pence coins. So we count up in our tens. Count with me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And finally, this person here has just used one coin, which is the 50 pence coin. So there are three different ways of making up 50 pence. Now here, this young lady says, I use a lot of coins. Can you guess my way? Pause the video, talk to your talk partner. How how do you know what way what coins has she used? What was her way of making 50 pence? Can you show your partner by using the coins she may have used? Pause the video, have a go, and we'll come back together again. For our worksheet today, Ms. Pope and I thought we could give you a fabulous Friday challenge. OK, now we're going to put all our faith in you and all our trust in you because you are amazing learners. And remember, at any point you find it tricky to go back to any of the learning from Monday and Wednesday and today to recap what you have done. OK, so there is no need to worry. There is no need to panic. 
we're just going to go through this step by step. Now, the first question here says fill in each blank with either two pounds or one pound. So the only coins you're allowed to use are the two pound coin or the one pound coin. Okay, so I'm going to give you a clue. It's asking you to make five pounds. If, it, if you look at the answer, it's got three boxes. Three boxes means three coins. How are you going to make up five pounds using three, co three coins, which are either a two pound coin or a one pound coin? Okay, now question B says you make five pounds again, but this time it's got four boxes. So this time you're going to use four coins, which are either two pounds or one pound. Carry on doing this for C and D, okay? Making up seven pounds. Again, remembering that each box represents a coin, which can only be two pounds or one pound. And the same for question D. Finally, it's question two on this sheet that I'm sure there's more coming your way. Fill in the blank with 50 pence, 20 pence, 10 pence, 5 pence, 2 pence or 1 pence. You are only allowed to use these coins and remember again each box means one coin, one of these coins which is circled in red. So have a go at doing that, these questions here. Now you you can do this. Remember these coins which are circled are the only coins you're allowed to use. Okay. Next, you've got question three. Match the groups with an equal amount of money. Now, just by looking at it, you're thinking, Mrs. Sweeney, there is so many coins. I don't think I can do this. I'm going to tell you one thing. You are more than capable of doing this and I believe in you. You are not going to let a bunch of coins ruin your confidence, okay? So, here, you, here we go. We're going to do this just like we did uh, worksheets on Wednesday and Monday. So what I'd like you to do is, once again, just cover up each side. And you're going to write the total value the way we have done for the previous worksheets at the bottom of each box. Then you're going to cover up this side once you've done it. And you're going to do the other side, which it's not letting me for some reason. But for now, I'm going to cross it out. But you get the point. You're going to cover up this side now. And you're going to write the amount under each box. When you have done that, you take away the book or whatever you're using to cover your work on the other side and you're going to check which matches the other side, okay? Which bits are the same and then you're going to match the equal amounts of money. That is all you have to do and you don't need to confuse yourself just by looking at the sheet going, oh, that's a lot of coins and it's going to confuse me. Just explain to you a simple, effective and accurate way that you can work through this part of your worksheet. Okay? So, have a go at doing that. Remember that you are amazing learners. We are so proud of you for all the work that you're already doing and I cannot wait to see your work uh, in your emails to us. So be safe, have a fantastic weekend, and we will see you very soon again with more learning next week. Bye for now.